All right, here today to talk about window insulation when you have exterior foam wrap. There's a couple key details. Um, think about what you're doing. So, uh, the first step when you do this is to install this flex wrap around the edge of the sill. That's kind of step one. And you know, in this case, we're using the exterior of the foam as our, um, as our water blocking layer. But like most aspects of construction, you want to try to stop water from getting in, but then if water does get in, allow it to get out. In order to do that, we have uh, these horseshoe shims. Uh, Jose, do you have any of those? Yeah. Can you have any one? Uh, these horseshoe shims here. So what we do, we we'll do typical flashing around the edge of the window. And then we put these horseshoe shims both under the window and then here at the flanges. So if water gets in, it has a path out. Back in the front, Jose had a chance to install these, the horseshoe shims that we talked about. So you can't see from behind, uh, we have the horseshoe shims allowing a little bit of space below the window. So water can flow out and down. And then like we saw the other window, it'll go on to wrap around with a flashing tape. And at the top, again, we'll use um, the auto foam tape. All right, this is a finished window we do it's a little flashing around the outside. But another difference here is that we add a layer of this tape at the top, and this tape is specially designed to stick to this foam. So it's an extra layer of sealant just to make sure you have the best adhesion possible you can get at the top here. All right, uh, previously we talked about details for installing windows uh, from the outside. Wanted to talk about a couple key details on the inside. So around the edges of uh, the windows, we'll use um, this foam backer rod before we put the caulk on. So sometimes people will use like a spray foam around the edges of the window to seal it off. And this is better for a few ways that I'll, uh, I'll include in the, in the comments below. But basically you want your backer rod to be about 20% bigger than the, the gap and you want the, the caulk itself to be about twice as wide as it is deep. So those are, those are kind of the rough uh, guidelines as far as the size of the back rod you should be using and how the caulk you should be oriented in there. What that does is that creates a, a really great uh, uh, blockage or water resistant barrier uh, all around the window.